You guys, I don't think you've ever been in my closet before, or in front of my closet at least. I'm loving to see that you guys are so on board and enjoying this Finding My Style series. In the last video, we actually went ahead and deconstructed my Pinterest board. It was so helpful because we ended up creating an amazing Pinterest board with outfits that I genuinely love, I would put on myself and walk out the door with. So today is step two. Step two is actually going through my entire closet already figuring out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. What pieces do I have here that I was just influenced to thrift or pick up? And what do I genuinely like? Oh, and guys, this is a little clip from the future of just a few of the things that I decided to get rid of. And I did want to thank Poshmark also for sponsoring today's video. As you guys probably know from my past videos, I absolutely love using Poshmark. Poshmark is the easiest way to buy and sell secondhand items, whether they're fashion items or home items as well. The app is just so easy to use, especially for someone like me who has so many clothes to get rid of. I just go ahead and take a little photo of the item and I post a bunch of pictures and a description about it on the Poshmark app, along with how much I want to sell the item for. And as soon as someone purchases my item, I get a notification that I can go ahead and ship. Poshmark is amazing because they create an automatic shipping label that you can easily wrap up your package and it goes right to your buyer. And even in the whole discovering your personal style series, if there's any trend or any specific style of anything you're looking for, go ahead and search it up on the Poshmark app and you'll definitely be able to find a couple pieces of exactly what you're looking for. And that way you're really doing your part by shopping secondhand, helping out our environment, and just giving a lot of clothes a second life so they don't end up in landfills. Click the link down below in the description box to get started on Poshmark yourself. Whether you're buying or selling, the app is available in Canada, the US, and Australia as well. So go ahead guys, shop my Poshmark closet, create your own Poshmark closet, and with all that, let's get to decluttering. Okay y'all, so write this down. These are the few things I want you to keep in mind when decluttering your own wardrobes. So when you're going and picking out each item, be sure to ask yourself, is this something that I have worn in the last six months? If you say yes, then that's great. If you say no, then ask yourself, is this something that you see yourself wearing in the next six months? Okay, I have these two jeans right here. These are actually the Levi's ribcage straight jeans. And while I did have a pair of ribcage Levi's that I was in love with, these ones are different. They're more of a stretchy denim rather than a solid denim. And I think it's because of that they just don't give me that same look as a nice vintage pair of jeans like I like. So they keep sitting in my wardrobe because again, I just don't like the way that they fit. For that reason, they were not jeans that I wore in the last six months and I probably won't pick them up in the next six months. The next thing I want you to consider is the fit of the actual item. Is this something that actually fits you? And not only does it fit you, is this something that you're actually physically comfortable wearing. Here's a perfect example of an item that just doesn't properly fit. I have this pair of denim that I got from a Goldie and they do look really good, but there's two things about this pair of pants that are kind of harder for me to wear. One, they're definitely more of a skinnier fit. I do have to say that I personally feel like skinny jeans aren't as flattering on me. I do like more of a wide leg cut. Plus the waistband here is not so much of a high rise, which I prefer. It's more of a mid to low rise, which means that it's very, very tight on my hips. So it's not really a comfortable fit. Next thing you want to consider is versatility. How versatile is this piece? Is this something that you can wear with a bunch of different outfits or is it kind of like a showstopper you can only really pull it out once and you can't really outfit repeat it again so here's how i do it with a piece like this i got these sweatpants right over here they're like an olive green color that have this like striping on the bottom they are thrifted and i really love them when i pick them up because i told myself that i can wear like really cute sporty looks with this but now i'm reevaluating. not once was it easy for me to create an outfit with them maybe it's the fact that there's like so much colors going on and green bottoms are a little bit harder to pair with other items but answering my question was it worn in the last six months it wasn't and looking ahead will I wear it in the next six months probably not and then the last point to help you decide whether it's something you should keep in your wardrobe or toss it out is if this is genuinely something that is your style these jeans over here and yes while they are thrifted and brand new with tags what was I thinking since when do I wear freaking florals like pattern florals I, I don't know again I already know when I picked this up I was very influenced by the trend of like pattern pants and textured pants even though now looking at it I just really do not like these this pattern y'all your girl is more influenced than she thoughts but it's so nice to like cleanse myself of all these things that aren't me anymore i actually do have a piece over here that is brand new with tags that i have not yet worn it is these oh you know why i'm like cringing because there's certain materials and comment down below if you guys feel the same but there's certain materials that i literally touch and they make me irk like i do not like them this is actually a princess poly item i saw it on the website and i thought it was really cute you guys know i'm still really really into plaid they kind of feel like stiff jeggings and that's just not my jam this is a perfect example of me just being influenced by the trends there was a time i would say a couple 
couple of months ago, everybody was into like sparkle glitter pants, okay? And I got influenced. I thrifted these pants right here from ThreadUp. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're made of this like really itchy, sparkly kind of fabric. It's not something that's genuine to me. And I feel like it was such a quick micro trend, which is exactly what I'm talking about. Things cycling in and out so fast. I was never really comfortable to put this on and wear it out. And I know that I'm not gonna be comfortable in the future. Another example of when the whole visco trend was a thing. Do you guys remember? These are from the brand Motel. I will say, if these were a pant that was like all black, I would definitely keep them because they're a high-waisted stretchy fit with a flare leg in the bottom. But the sun's on these pants trying to make me feel all hipster. So as comfy stretchy pants, yes. As ones I would actually wear, mm-mm. So these two bottoms right here, I actually have them in black and I also have them in red that I thrifted in my thrifting 2000s video. You guys know how much I am inspired by the 2000s. So as much as tearaway pants, it doesn't seem like something I would wear. I actually love pairing fun pants like these with like really simple tank tops. They're fun, they're comfortable, and they're definitely me. So I will be keeping these. Here are some Adidas sweats. This was like literally prime Haley when I just started thrifting. At this point, I kind of phased out of that. If I ever really wear sweatpants, I try to wear like a matching set. These next ones I actually got when I was pregnant with Aaliyah and I remember I filmed this haul without actually telling you guys that I was pregnant. Here is another example of Haley being influenced. Do you remember this crisscross trend? But I don't like the crisscross trend. I don't think that is flattering, especially because it kind of like moves downwards here at the front. Plus, these are not just straight leg, these are a baggy jean and baggy jeans, I feel like they kind of swallow me whole. These actually kind of resemble the Molina pant from Zara, but they're a little bit baggier, less form fitting. I will keep these because even though I didn't wear them in the last six months, it was probably just because it was hot. I I feel like in the fall time leather pants are something that I always liked. It was that one trend that every single year when it comes back, I always want to wear some kind of leather pants. Moving on. So we are on to the next part of my wardrobe. I guess this is kind of what you say is like my tops and my sweaters, my long sleeves. So applying some of my tips, I'm slowly going to be going through these clothes and pulling especially a few that I don't think I'm going to wear anymore. Let's start off with the tank tops. We have this one right here. While this looks like a basic that could be nice in every wardrobe, there's a few aspects of this tank top that are going to make me get rid of it. It's super cropped. Like really, when I wear this, it's kind of like a crop that goes right under my boob. Second, the actual material of the shirt, while it's really, really soft, it is so see-through. And last, just the butterfly. Do you remember when these little butterfly graphics were so popular? Again, especially in that whole visco trend influencer era that we were seeing. And instead, I'm gonna be keeping some tank tops that I always love. For example, a tank top like this, I wore once with some cargo shorts and some fun green sneakers. That was honestly such a look that I was obsessed with and it was a really nice way again to add that pop of color without being too overwhelming and still matching my style they're still on urban outfitters and they're really popular too but a trend that has definitely died hard is the whole tie-dye trend while i do really like the fit of the tank top and the v-neck i don't really like tie-dye anymore i feel like i hopped on that train so much in quarantine that i got sick of it so quickly so i don't really see myself pulling towards this shirt anymore oh and these babies okay we gotta talk about something that really not that long ago Haley was obsessing and now she kind of regrets it and that is bathing suit tankinis flower tops hibiscus tops they're just really part of that coconut girl aesthetic which is not really the look that i'm going for i'm not some like laid back surfer girl hippie that just like loves hitting the beach we don't even have a beach here in toronto and i i don't even know what happened here i think i got this when all of us were into like the groovy prints and patterns or the tie-dye i i don't know i don't know what pulled me to this when i thrifted it i thought maybe it would be like a cute beach cover-up not my best fashion decision <laughs> so this one i'm actually going to be passing up as well. The reason why, like I mentioned in my Pinterest video, I tend to gravitate towards colors that are more solid. So when a color has a lot of texture like this and introduces more than one color, it's harder for me to pair with bottoms. I mean, at least I noticed that. So for that reason, this one's a no-go for me too. Okay, t-shirts with the bedazzlements. I mean, there are certain aspects of this trend that I still love. Let's start off with this one. I actually do love brown. I feel like this with a pair of denim can actually look super cute. The Miami bedazzlement is kind of a lot. And the reason I picked it up is because this was really hot and it was like a really nice trend but from the beginning I already knew I don't like gray like if you notice I don't have like a single gray item in my wardrobe because I just don't like dark cool tone colors so I knew I wouldn't wear this so cardigans I do have a lot of I have this little one which I will admit I really like it just gives me like 90s vibes I think this is actually still available if it is I can link it down below but yeah this with like a little headband even with some flared leggings or oh my god I'm doing it too sorry I mean yoga pants and plus these flowers while they are kind of all over the place it's very minimal but I do want to get rid of a lot of other cardigans because again I feel like this is something that I kind of fell into and it is less me first of all the structure of a lot 
lot of these. I'm like not so crazy about the thick knits, so that's not something I really love. This one over here, prime example, when I was thrifting Pinterest dupes, I actually found this. Aside from the fact that it's actually a very itchy fabric, it's really cropped too, which kind of eliminates the purpose of wearing a cardigan for warmth because then your midriff is all cold. And this one, I will say it's more of a solid color. It is actually very comfortable and soft too. So I do want to keep it because I feel like with a simple black or white tank underneath with the right denim, I can make this work. Okay, and as much as I wanted to get into them, I just never got into the button downs. Like my inspiration for these striped colorful button downs was Matilda Durf, Durf, Durf. She popularized this trend on Instagram. She made this look so effortless, but it's just really, really not me. I just feel like the boxiness of big oversized dress shirts does not flatter my body type. And I haven't reached for it in the last six months, probably won't in the next six months either. My graphic sweatshirts, this is only two of my favorites, but I am definitely keeping these because I love them. I feel like this is probably the epitome of my fall style. Like the athletic crew necks with the jeans or the cool pants and the sneakers. That is definitely Haley. It's always been Haley. And as much as I tried to like stray away from the casual look, I do end up coming back to these and I always love it. So these graphic sweatshirts for Haley 2.0 is definitely staying. So these next three, while they may not seem so much like Haley, I will say that I feel like for the first time, I'm ready to experiment with these. So I have three blazers that honestly all fit me beautifully. Every time I try it on, I'm like, damn, Haley, these look great on you. Why don't you wear them more? Maybe in the next six months, I can pair these blazers because I do think that these ones just fit me very well. I don't really know what I was going for when I thrifted this. I just think this is me like trying to think I can pull something off that I can't. And this reminds me of in that Pinterest video when we saw those girls wearing that Chanel skirt and the Chanel blazer. And I was like, whoa, that's a very bold statement. It looks great on them, but I wouldn't wear it. Exactly how I feel about this. I love the color. It's a very bold statement, but the jacket itself, it's just not something I would wear. I feel like it fits pretty cool and it's got some cool elements to it, but would I pop up an outfit like this and just go grab my coffee? Probably not. I don't necessarily feel like it's my style. So I think on one of you guys, this jacket could actually look epic. And then the last off what I see here I wanted to try on was this vest. And I actually have really been loving the casual zipper vest. I actually have a pair of Converse that look so good with this vest. And that was an outfit that I was like feeling myself. I had a nice big white sweater underneath with this vest and these shoes with some black denim. And that just felt very true to me. And I really want to slowly work my way to make sure that all of the outfits and all the pieces in my closet will give me that kind of feeling of confidence so that no matter what I put on, I can walk out the door and feel good. Good. I'm really excited for the next episode of the series where we're gonna build on our new wardrobe with some basics and a lot of really fun stuff from the thrift store as well. So just stay tuned for that. It's gonna be really fun. Click the link down below to check out my Poshmark closet. You can snag some goodies for yourself. And if you're decluttering like me and you have so many clothes with no place for it to go, try to list it on Poshmark and make yourself a quick buck straight from home. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Love you, bye.